here. We're playing some Black Ops 2. Decided to post some other gameplay. This game is so fun. And sorry if I sound like I need to blow my nose because I'm getting kind of sick, you know, after event sickness. I haven't been sick after events, like the past three, four events, but it finally got to me. Uh, I didn't take precautions that I usually do. So, whatever. You know, I might get sick, I might not. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about, you know... You know, kind of about my AW career and the future and kind of what happened and I don't know, I just want to go in depth and as you can see in the title, you know, I'm very, it's just disappointing, you know, disappointed, you know, disappointing, like it's just so much disappointment all around me and a lot of you, like I feel like people who don't play professionally or trying to get to that level don't understand or can't understand as much because they don't know what it's like or to be in that position. But a lot of you guys know that this is my career right now. Like this, I don't know how long I plan on doing this, you know. I Like I've told you in previous videos, like I would love to do this for a long time if I could. Whether it's continue on YouTube streaming, you know, after I'm done playing competitive or becoming a caster or something with MLG. I don't know. But this is something I do to make money, you know. This is where I make my income. And when I'm placing bad almost every event, when I'm making almost no money, the only money is coming from is streaming. No, barely anything from YouTube because, you know... My YouTube's kind of died out, uh, but pretty much only from streaming and sort a little bit from MLG, like being in the league and stuff. You know, it's it's struggle. It's it's really the struggle right now. I feel like, you know, I barely I barely have any money. You know, it's 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 been a struggle pretty much this whole year. You know, I tr I really relied on making money at champs, and when I didn't make the money any money at champs, I relied on placing at least pretty good at some events and. The only event I placed good after champs was at Gfinity. I placed second. Uh, we got pretty close to beating Optic. And MES, which I got second as well. But it was a small event, you know, nothing big. So, like, other than that, you know, it's been a very, very disappointing year. And I feel like I've let so many people down. And people don't understand, like, some people take this more to heart than others. You know, they, like, playing competitive, you know, it's kind of like my passion. Like, this is what I have fun doing. You know, I'm a very passionate person when it comes to this. And I'm very passionate when it comes to being the best. And, you know, it's just, I felt like I've let so many people down. I felt like I've let my friends, my family, uh, my fiance, Maria, and, you know, you guys, the fans, the people who support me from day one. And most importantly, I felt, I feel like I let myself down. And this is something, you know, this is a feeling that eats me alive at night. This is a feeling that, you know, when I go, when I go, like, when I lose in the tournament and I go back to the hotel, you know, I'm being eaten alive for, like, two days. You know, I can't believe I lost. Like, I feel a little bit more accomplished, a little better usually when I place better. If I place, like, top four, you know, it's, it's not as bad. But when you place, like, top nine, top 16, like, for so many events, like, you can only withstand that pain for so long. But then again, it's not obviously physical pain it just it's more mentally and and i've just been very disappointed throughout the whole year a lot of you guys know like i said my places have been complete shit i placed first for the first event yeah that's nice and all that's all dandy but you know placing like like i said this is where i make my income this is like kind of this is pretty much my job and when i'm placing ninth through 13 through 12 or 13 through 16 for the majority of events that i've attended like that's really bad like, that's almost saying, like, I can't do this any for much longer. And the only way I can do this for much longer, if I step up to the plate, I start doing better, and things start looking better for me. And honestly, like, individually, I think I've had a pretty good year. Like, I think I've been pretty good. I think I played pretty well throughout the throughout this year. You know, I did have some moments where I could have played better. Uh, I never thought I was, like, a top 5 player. Maybe not even top 10, but maybe, like, top 15 player top 20 max like i thought i was definitely a really really good player on this game really talented and i got better over time but you know hopefully uh you know it, it's just been a disappointing disappointment like it's just been very disappointing knowing that i was a pretty good player at this game it's not like i was shit i did put in a lot of time you know to put in months and months and and like eight to ten hours a day to then only go to a tournament and not even place in the money like you can't even like begin to understand like how how much that sucks and for the people i know a lot of you guys do that like amateur players like the, i know when you're starting from the bottom that's how it is a lot you know you place like top 16 top 20 which is good for an amateur player realistically and you don't place you don't place the money but for someone who you know is used to placing good and winning and does this as a career as their job you know it just affects me a lot you know it's been a very hurtful year to say the least it's been very 
It's a lot, this is tragic, man. I've been so close to placing first again. I've been so close to placing in the money. I've been so close to like it, it, it came down to centimeters and inches and the timing off by half a second. Like it's insane wh how different it could be if one little thing just changed. But obviously that's not how life works. Life is random. Life is always gonna, you know, it's a, it's never gonna go the way I want it to. And that's understandable, you know, I've learned that a long time ago. So, with that being said, you know, even though it's been very disappoint disappointing year for me, even though I'm very disappointed within myself and this whole past year, you know, putting so much time and effort into the game to only, you know, continue placing shit. Like, I I'll tell you guys my placing again. I placed first once, second once, uh, fifth through eighth once, and like maybe one time eighth and then on the other like eight events seven eight events i'm literally saying seven i think at least okay six seven events i've placed nine through 12 or 13 through 16 and that's just like that's, that's like just unacceptable man like i don't mind like maybe three events you know what happens here and there but the fact like i don't know i just i can't believe it and i'm i'm just i'm, I'm not gonna tolerate it anymore like i'm not like when black ops 3 comes out i'm gonna become the biggest nerd I'm gonna try so hard, you know, I'm gonna try so hard to improve. I'm gonna go through some tough ass training. And what I mean by that is like every day I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing wrong, how can I improve and continue to improve. And with my team or whatever, you know, uh, TK, I'm on TK right now. Uh, I talked to him, you know, we plan on staying together and see how the beginning of the game goes and we'll see from there. But, you know, I no longer wanna feel this. I, I never wanna feel like I disappo I'm disappointed, like that I've let people down. Like, I just don't want to feel like that anymore. And I know I keep saying this, saying this, and I don't want to try to uh, bring negativity right now, but, you know, this is something that's been eating me alive. And I, just, I, I, I have no one else to blame but myself. Like, in the end, it is a team game. You know, players could have played could have played better. But, you know, nothing that I could do about that. You know, I could have played better. Everyone can always play better. Everyone can always improve. Like I said, I, I don't like I don't want like to bring too much negativity to my channel, but I always love venting to you guys and talking to you guys about certain things that bother me. And just know that, you know, I really want to put the effort and time and I wanna show you that and like it just inspire you guys, I guess, in a way. You know, I just I wanna like really like I, I don't just wanna be all talk, you know. That's kinda what I've been doing recently. Like even though I've been playing pretty good, it's it's been all talk for me. It's it's been very unfortunate, you know, unfortunate events of uh, me not placing good and being unlucky. But you make your own luck, right? So, uh, you know, going to TK and Black Ops 3, I'm going to try my best, like I said, to go hard, to play better. You know, I don't, I no longer want to have this feeling. You know, I want to know that, like, yeah, I gave 100%, I gave 110%, but at the end of the day... I know I could give more. I know there's a little. I could give a little bit more, and that's what I plan to do. With Black Ops 3. I'm gonna grind the hell out of that game and just make everybody turn their heads when it comes to me and be like, "Damn, Apathy is good." But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Well, it wasn't that quick, but either way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.